I'm a very competitive person. I try to conceal it, but I really can't. They say that home is where the heart is. But for six foot one Higley varsity basketball player Alfreda Andre, her heart is on the court, while her home is 5,000 miles away. Known as Effie by friends and family, Alfreda was born in Gothenburg, Sweden's second largest city. The daughter of Swedish journalists, Effie stumbled into basketball at an early age. When I was eight years old, my track club shut down. But my mom had been playing basketball when she was younger, so she wanted me to try it, and I just fell in love with it immediately. Ten years later, she finds herself living in a foreign culture, the one constant being her love for the game of basketball. I would say I'm fast and good at dribbling the ball for being a tall person and good at shooting for being a tall person. Effie is part of the EF Foreign Exchange Program, which places participating students with host families all over the world. But finding a home that's a perfect match is not always easy. When Sky and Jackie Fagrell, whose daughter Alexa plays basketball for Higley, were presented with the idea of hosting a foreign student for the school year, they had concerns. When I first heard about Elfrida coming to our house, it was through Alexa. And my first thought was, no way, this is never going to happen. Alexa came home and she was like, Mom, there's a girl from Sweden that they want to host family for, and they're approaching the basketball family. Let's take her in. My, I was like, no, I didn't even give it a thought. But after a little persistence from Alexa and her sisters, the Fogrells reconsidered. I think it was like a 20-page application, and I read over it, and I called Sky, and I'm like, um, I really like her. Like, she seems like she'd be a good fit for our family. The fit, as it turns out, was perfect. I think that we have a really great relationship. Higley High School's girls varsity basketball coach, Brandon Large, describes what Effie brings to the team. Elfrida is very, very competitive. She, she wants to win. She led our team in, in scoring, um, and then she led our team in rebounding as well. She's very smart when it comes to basketball knowledge. She can handle the ball really good, and she's got a great outside shot. So it's just fun watching her really tackle all the positions of basketball and execute them all really well. She's a great outside shooter and inside shooter which is impressive. She never likes to lose. She's a winner for sure. Winning a game makes me feel so good, especially if I feel like I played a good game. It's just like, I feel like I can do anything. It's that same passion and tenacity that has helped Effie tackle the challenges of living so far away from home. Some of the challenges I think Elfrida felt early on was how she would transition into America, fitting into the culture, getting into a social group, getting into a groove academically, and and fitting into our family. I think she was confident in her basketball game, um, but then not having played here and not knowing what the competition was like, I think there may have been some reservations. For the past several months, Effie has learned much about the American way of living. But for the Fagrells, it's more about what she has taught them. She's opened our eyes to how the rest of the world works, you know, from the government to um, their education system, the importance of family, Elfrida, growing up in Sweden, doesn't have any close-aged siblings, and so seeing her get along and mix in with our kids has really helped us to see the importance and value of nurturing those relationships. Effie will finish the school year here at Higley before returning to Sweden this summer to prepare for college. She plans to study psychology on a basketball scholarship. Reporting from Higley High School, I'm David Clough for the studio.